What's up, everybody? Um, so at time of recording, the day after Christmas, Jasko decided to drop a Christmas present on us. And um, we have got three new characters inside of the public playtest, and I, by myself, am just going to take a small look, um, see what they do. These are nine card supports, and so we're kind of assuming that these are my hero characters. Um, and so we're going to do our best to guess and see who is who. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So we've got a uh, we've got new playtest cards. We're gonna go ahead and just start at the top, looking at uh, the characters only. Who are we building first? We pass. I have no idea. I haven't even read the cards. So, um, we have Chicken Tika Taika Ma Mas Masala. It's a chicken dish. Seven hand size, twenty one life. Chaos, evil fire. A lot of evil fire characters in our playtest. Evil fire, evil fire. I guess we have two. Two evil fire characters. <laughs> when committee foundations to pass a check, committing this card counts as two foundations. So we want to commit our character. This attack gets plus two or minus one damage. You may add one copy of Toast the Spices from your discard pile to your hand. Toast the Spices is an action with the ally keyword. I'm so in. All right, um, it's a 2-4, two, 2 mid block. toast the spices. While this card is in your card pool, your attacks get plus one speed and plus one damage. Wow, that's really good. Response, after you commit your character to pass a check, that check gets plus two. So if we commit our character, our check gets massive. When committing foundations to pass a check, committing this card counts as committing two foundations. So this says I commit, my check gets plus four. Enhance ready your character if you did draw a card. Wow, that's really neat. So the action re-readies the character and the character enhance grabs the toast to our hand and this card does not remove. Hmm, this is Tokiyami. I totally, I totally agree with you. Weird that he, he has chaos, he has evil, he doesn't have void. Yeah, this is totally add a shadow to your hand. That's cool. That's cool. Cool, 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 uh, Seven hand size, 21 health. Oh, that's red. Okay. Chicken breast. And it's it's a chicken dish? He's a bird? Confirmed. Illuminati confirmed. Chicken breast slash. It's a four, three, one mid block. Four mid for three. Three damage attack. Interesting. Charge powerful to punch. Another punch under the evil and fire symbols. Very needed. Enhance. If your character's committed, this deck gets plus two speed, plus two damage. Deadlock enhance. Your rival loses one vitality. I actually think this deadlock enhance could be while it's in the card pool. While your attacks hit this. But that, that is fine. It's a six mid for five. That is while this card's in your card pool, your attacks get plus one, plus one. And we want to add as many of these to the card pool as possible. And this thing says your attack gets plus two extra damage. And so it's a six for five, six for seven, seven for eight on my four diff. Neat. Onion paste face. It's a five, three, three low, three high for five, EX2 punch, enhance. If your character is ready, the stack gets plus two speed or plus two damage. If your character is committed, the stack gets plus two damage. This is a very cool card. I'm not sure who else inside of these playtests we want to. Actually, this is playable inside of the uh, movie tray, except for. Our, we don't share any symbols. Womp womp. Deep Aroma Simmer. It's got the ally keyword. Do these all have ally? Unfortunate. Deep Aroma Simmer. It is a one mid block, six mid for six, ally breaker, one punch, enhance, search your deck, or discard pile for rock, one copy of Toast of Spices, and add it to your hand. Love that. If your character's committed, your next check to play a card gets plus two. This is rad. This is a cute little engine all by itself. I'll play this for this card. I'll play four of this card and feel good about it. I love that. Okay, on to the foundations. Thickened by cream, it's a 2-5 with a 2 high block. If your character's committed, this attack gets plus 1 damage. Just playable all the time. That's really, that's really, really cool. Um, it'd be interesting to see if there was a, if it's not committed effect on this card. But I think a, a 0-5-2 high block with just plus 1 damage is totally fine with some sort of condition. Yogurt Spice Marinade. It's a 1-5, five, 5 mid block. Crazy how these cards have 5 mid blocks. After this card is destroyed, ready your character. Wow, that's crazy. Enhance destroy your punch attack gets two speed. Enhance destroy this non-punch attack gets plus or minus three speed. Uh, that's crazy because of the fact of like one of the way main ways that you could stop. Where is he? This character is by committing him, right? And so you could just destroy this card to just ready him back up. Up next, we've got non accompaniment. There's a 2-5 with a 1 low block. Beautiful low block. Has the ally keyword? Is it they all have ally? No? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Enhance commit. This punch gets plus 2 damage. Love that. Enhance flip. If you're just committed, this attack gets minus 3 damage. Interesting that we have plus speed, plus damage, minus speed, minus damage. Interesting. It's kind of... It's a little basic, 
but if I feel like I need these things, they they do okay jobs, right? Except for this card has a five mid block. Yuck. Spice profile curation response commit. After you commit your character to pass a check, that check gets plus two. Yeah, this card's very good, actually. This card's very, very good. This card all by itself says that my character commits for three, basically. No, they each get just they, they each just get plus one. I do think it might be uh, Tokiyami. Yeah, because uh, we find our shadow. I don't love a symbol spread, but it's uh, it's something. I'm gonna actually pull these down real real quick and try and understand the mechanics, right? So if I've got this card in my hand, I play this, I check my three, I commit my character, it passes. Um, from here we play this, I ready my character, draw a card. I play this on a f six, seven, eight, commit, uh, check a five, check a three, four, five, six, seven, right? So I only have to commit one more. So I still six, Okay, yeah, it works out. The math works out. All right, we can move on. Um, English Trifle. Six hand size, 26 vitality, order, void, water. Response, after your attack is partially blocked, draw two cards. Response, once per game, after an attack is completely blocked, discard that attack from the card pool. Your rival discards a card. Interesting. Enhance, commit a foundation, change the zone of your attack. It gets plus one speed. That's good. The response once per game seems a little bad maybe if your opponent couldn't respond to it i'd be fine right because like this card's gonna feel really bad maybe in the my hero format it's fine or in some sort of selective format it's fine in a format where things like big cyclone exist it might be uh, pretty bad but response after your attack is partially blocked trust two cards is kind of crazy that response is actually crazy all right under the attacks multiple distinct layers <laughs> what a crazy name it's a four three two mid block four high for four ranged trifle response so hey um your after your rival plays a block against this attack change this attack zone to mid love that this card just says if you block it at all i draw two on my character great if this deck deals damage, ready one foundation that was committed during this enhanced step. Great. So I get to re-ready the, the, the zone commit. So I make it a low. And then when you attempt to do it, I change it to a mid. Yeah, there's a lot of juice on this card. Jelly roll structure. It's a 5-3-2 mid. 3 mid for 5. Range stun 1 throw. We love throws. Enhance if the deck's not blocked. Commit one rival foundation. Maybe we don't love this throw. This throw seems fine. Yeah, this card's, this card's nothing to write home about. I think it's I think this card's fine. Yeah. Get some, some momentum. I hope we have something over here that uses momentum exceptionally well. All right, Strawberry Stunner. It's a 4-3. I love all these mid attacks. There's so many enhances on this card. This is a 4-3. One low block. Three mid for four. Range stun one. Great. Enhance. Commit a foundation. Change the zone of this attack. Enhance. If the zone of this attack is high, it gets two speed. If the zone of this attack is low, it gets two damage. This is great. I actually love this card a lot. It, uh, this is like exactly what you want inside of these uh, these character support. This is like the prime example of what I want into a card. Inside of this character, this card is fantastic. Um, enhance, commit a foundation, change it the, the zone of the attack. And then he also changes the zone of the attack. This is rad. Custard Creamer. It's a 5-3-1 high block, 5 mid for 6, charge, rain. This, it can, this card can only be partially blocked. Response after the zone of the attack change, it gets plus 2 damage. Wow. Enhance discard momentum, change the zone of the attack to any of the zone. This enhance is playable any number of times this enhance step. I'm sorry. What? Yo, this card's rad. We found what we want our momentum for. Wow, what clear lines this deck has. This card says it can only be, we can change our zone. Yo, this character is sweet. This character is sweet. And I haven't even looked at his foundations. I would play the heck out of this character. I have no idea how to say this. Chantilini? No. Chant. Chant. Chantilly. No idea. One, five, four mid block. Interesting block zones. Enhance, flip, colon. Change this attack zone to mid. It gets minus two speed. I like that. Changes zone to the most possible block zone. This thing's got a four mid block. So it's like a two mid block. I dig this. This is a cool card. One, five with interesting speed hate. Berry art topping. One, five, two low response. After this card is committed to the enhanced step, this deck gets plus two or minus two speed. Playable while committed. We can commit a foundation to give it minus two speed. 
or we can commit a foundation to give it plus three speed. This card's a four of. I'm loving this kit, actually. This card's this kit's very, 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 very cool. Trifle Bowl. It's a three, five, one mid block ally unique. Response remove, discard one momentum. After a stun ability is played, your rival discards one card and reveals their hand. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, what? So they discard a card and then I get to pick. And so now I get to just pick my zones for the rest of the turn. Okay, so I have to open with one of these two. And then I get to peek at their hand. Deadlock response, commit. After you play a stun ability, your rival discards a card. Yeah, I no longer have to use the, the discard of momentum, but then I don't get to see their hand. That's okay. Individual helpings. It's a 2-5 with a 2 mid block. Enhance, commit. One foundation, change the zone of your attack. Perfect. If the zone of your attack is changed, it gets plus one. This is so great. I love this entire kit. I think this entire kit is so cool and very obvious what it wants to do. This is my favorite favorite kit that has been made for playtest so far. That is like all encompassing of what it wants to do. I love it. Very, very cool. Moving on to the pumpkin spice latte. Six hand size, 26 health, chaos, fire, water. Love the opposite symbols. Big fan of that. Indians commit a foundation. Your attack is plus three damage. Boom. Hit him. Hit him big. Response. Commit. Discard the top three cards of your deck. After your rival plays a non-character enhance or responsibility, cancel its effect. Whoa. Once per turn, revoke? Just for three cards off the top of your deck? That, uh... That's really good. <laughs> that's really, really... Just imagine... It's every... All my opponent's turn, just one time, I just get to always revoke one of their things. 180 degrees steam. 4-3 with a 1 mid block. 3 mid for 4. Breaker 1 ranged. We love to see the breaker 1s. If this attack deals damage, add it to your hand during the end phase. Very strong. Discard a momentum after your rival plays a non-character's enhanced cancels effect. Interesting. Steam to book foam. It's a 5-2, two, 2 high block, 5 low for 4. Breaker 2 range, stun 2, enhance colon. If this attack deals damage, your rival loses vitality equal to the total printed... Excuse me? Enhance if this attack deals damage, your rival loses vitality equal to the total printed stun rating of all cards in your card pool? What? What? No. Did all of this guy's attacks have stun on them. They all... This card exists. Is this a five difficulty card? Oh my... Oh my goodness, guys. No. No. I hate it. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> guys, people are gonna die from this steam milk. Oh, man. Wowzers. Yo, what up, Ryan? Hit me with it. Man, this is like a seven low for a million in that character. With Breaker 2? People, people do gotta die. People very much gotta die. A t this card's so crazy. Wowzers, this card's crazy. Deadlock enhance the next check you make to play an attack passes. <laughs> Wowzers. Uh, this card's crazy. This card's insane. I'm playing four of this. And that's that's amazing. It's a two check, though? Oh, yike. Yikes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a two check. Two checks gotta kill people. This might be our new missile launcher. I'm into it. The Taste of Autumn. It's a four, three, two mid block, three mid for four. Range, stun two, response. After you block with this card, commit one rival foundation. I get to pick. Deadlock enhance. Add one card from my hand to my momentum. I draw a card. Wow. That's very good. Any of these cards have momentum costs? No. Let's check this one. Whew. Espresso do dopio. <laughs> Espresso dopio. It's a four, three, two low block, five mid for four. Range, stun one. Enhance, if you have eight or more ranged attacks in your discard pile, draw two cards. Full free. Just have eight. Just do it. Enhance, discard the top three cards of your deck. This attack gets plus two damage for each ranged attack and discard it this way. Are these all ranged? Yes. 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 We're going back to the character. What do you do? Commit a foundation, your attack gets three damage, and then once per turn, revoke. Wow. Okay, so obviously, they want the fire symbol to be... Nutty Banana Sandwich. The fire symbol is going to be absolutely bonkers, for sure. Yo, doesn't this card also have, have stun on it? Hold on, where are we at? Uh, where are you, KFC? Where are you at? Don't you have stun? You got stun one? Cool. Reusable cup. 
It's a 1 5 2 high block, breaker 1, enhance, add this card to your hand, playable while committed. Hell yeah, we love free 2 high blocks with breaker 1. We love them. We love them. Whip, cream, and nutmeg. 0 5 2 low block, enhance, flip, your stun attack gets 2 damage, only playable while committed. So we just commit it for 3 damage, and then we give it 2 more damage. Lisa, something for chaos? I dig it. Yeah. This, I forgot these cards had the chaos symbol. I'm still infatuated with the fire symbol. I'm just going and killing people. Okay, seasonal availability. The two, five, one mid block. It's very, very obvious McCafe <laughs> mug. <laughs> Response commit. After you play a breaker ability, your rival commits a foundation. That's very good. Response commit. After a stun ability is played, reduce its stun rating to zero. I love that. Little anti stun. I like this card kind of. It says that it wants to beat this character because we can just flip this guy and say that this card doesn't have any stun. Uh, this card doesn't have stun to begin with. This card has stun too, which is very good. This card has stun one. Yeah, so it just kind of stops these two cards. And the last one, basic. It's a 2 4 with a 1 high block, unique. Enhance commit, change the zone of this attack. Weird symbol identity, especially for a character that, like, that's its entire shtick inside of this set. Enhance, destroy, draw a card for every four ranged attacks in your discard pile. So it's like the Espresso. Okay, so now that I've looked through all of them, uh, I gotta say, I think this is fine. I think I actually have to put my hands on it to understand what's going on. I think this character is a fairly complex kind of like this character. How like looking at face value, you can see the value of it. Um, although I can think this character on face value is just better than... Uh, the chicken. I think the chicken, you have to play with it a little bit more. With that said, I like the fact of being able to reuse this action over and over again. While this card's in your carpool, your attacks get plus one, plus one, and then enhance ready your character if you did draw a card. So even if you didn't ready your character, right? If you just passed your check automatically, you're just like, boop, I can just play this down, and then everything gets plus one, plus one for the rest of the for rest of forever. Response, after you commit your character to pass a check, the check gets plus two. Response after you commit your character to pass a check. Man, so we can get plus two to our check, plus two to our check. We could have some crazy long strings of this character. This character's so cool. Uh yeah, so I think there's I think there's a lot of interesting interactions happening with this, with this character's own support, but I'm not sure how well this character's support matches with the other nine card support that exists. As well as I think that this character support is like the coolest well-rounded support for the character. I like love every single card inside of inside of Trifle. And then lastly, Spunk Pumpkin Spice Latte, I think uh, has got some very, very strong cards with Steam Foam Milk, with Espresso Drawing 2, but is locking you into some pretty significant themes of your deck. I have to play range attacks. I have to play stun attacks. Um, and so inside of the My Hero format, they might not be amazing, but inside of the inside of standard, I think they might be terrifying so everybody at home let me know what you guys think of these uh these cards i uh leave them in the comments down below it would be uh it would be cool to have a little bit of interaction with you guys make sure you check out the stream twitch.tv slash tan cardwell we're gonna be playing with these cards i'm sure for the next foreseeable future giving our feedback and such and uh with that i'm gonna get to making a deck for sure we will see you guys next time